Lux Living for Less. And on this channel, we try to find tips and tricks on how to still live a fabulous lifestyle on a more or less budget. Today is Saturday, December 30th, one day before New Year's Eve, two days before 2024. It is 9.39 a.m. I have some errands to run today. I actually have quite a few errands that I need to run today. I have to work tomorrow. Um, I volunteered to work for coverage tomorrow, so I have to work tomorrow. But it's an early shift. It's 7 to 4, so, you know, it's okay. I'm sure it'll pass by super fast. Um, but I have to work. I bet y'all say, why are you always in your car, child? Because when I'm outside, that's when I'm in the car. Y'all know I don't, um, y'all know I rarely leave the house during the week. So when I get to talk to y'all, it's when I be outside. All right, y'all, we made a quick stop at the thrift store. What else is new? These Steve Madden boots were so cute, weren't my size. I was mad because they weren't my size. Y'all, look at these Uggs. These are a size six Uggs. They were only $5.99. I picked them up. I cleaned them up. I'm going to resell them. This Jones, New York um, Bolero style jacket was really nice. This is a really nice jacket. Also, this is a Lafayette 148. Y'all know y'all ta talk about that all the time. This was a cute jacket too, but it was kind of giving me um, those vibes. What's those What's those guys named that fight the bull? I can't think of it. Y'all know who I'm talking about, but that's what it was kind of reminding me of. So I didn't get it. This Donna Karen blazer was really nice i picked her up child i i did i picked her up and you'll see this coming up later on in my thrift haul this armani blazer y'all the thrift store was thrifting this day they were thrifting with all the designer pieces all the designer pieces this um colleen lopez i believe jacket it was really nice it was leather there was a little bit too much going on for me so i didn't get it y'all this coogee t-shirt i regret not getting this t-shirt i actually went back to the thrift store the same day to get it and it was gone this peanut sweater i looked for things like this for my son um i didn't get it because it was way 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 too big for him this um christian dior blazer Yes, it is a Christian Dior. I told y'all, the thrift store was thrifting this day. Yellow tags were half off, so I got that Christian Dior blazer for $3. This Valentino blazer, I told y'all that it, everything was out this particular day. I got this one for $10. These items have since been um, taken to the cleaners because I'm going to keep the Dior and Valentino for myself because why shouldn't I? I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to wear it myself. All right, y'all. I'm here to pick up my glasses. I did make a stop at the thrift store. Um, I had someone to reach out to me to um, request my services on sourcing them some items. They live out of town. And of course, I and of course I oblige. Um, so I did pick up some things. Well, I did pick up one thing for um for them and then i also picked up some things for myself but these are going to be things that are going to be resold y'all the thrift store today had all the designer pieces out now there was this one um cardigan that i wanted it really reminded me of the hanifa cardigan it was a 100 percent cashmere maxi cardigan and it was very light pink almost like a um like a like a baby pink and it had the bell sleeves y'all it was so pretty and it was from Saks fifth avenue but i did not want to pay 60 dollars for that sweater especially not out of the thrift store so i didn't get it and i'm just going to take my chances and go back on wednesday hopefully it's still there if it's not it just wasn't meant for me but it was gorgeous anyway i'm here to pick up my glasses i'm here at lens crafters i'm going to go in here pick up my glasses real quick and head to my next destination which is i need to go to the cleaners and pick up a coat so let's go y'all look at this red light pole bouncing up and down look at it Like, why is that moving like that? Y'all see that? Why is that doing that? 
All right, y'all, headed to our next destination, which is Goodwill to drop off a donation. I'm not getting out going in. I'm just dropping off the donation and then I'm gonna go across the street and get a car wash. All right, y'all, the donation is done. I'm headed now across the street to get a car wash. And then I need to head to, um, I need to go to like a um, grocery store. I think I'm gonna go to Publix because what I need, everything I need is at Publix. So let's go. Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember or not me telling y'all, but I am a licensed realtor. This neighborhood right here is called Oakleaf Plantation. And um, they have what's called CDD fees. If you are buying a home and you see something called a CDD fee, that is a community development district fee. And what that is, is basically like, almost kind of like a HOA fee within your subdivision. Your HOA fee takes care of things that are inside your own subdivision, but the CDD fee, as an easier way to explain it, is a fee that takes care of things in your community, like your neighborhood. They have their own movie theater. When you see things like that, that's what your CDD fee is going to. Um, you know, which a CDD fee, if the neighborhood has it, is not optional to not pay it. So just a little real estate education for y'all because I don't know if y'all remember, like I said, I am a licensed realtor. But let's go ahead and get this. I'm at Walmart. I'm here to pick up some things on my flex spending card because I need to spend the money. Let's see what we can find. All right, y'all, so I'm going to be redoing my pantry and spice cabinet over. I saw these right here for my spices, but I think it's going to be too wide for the cabinet. But I do like these for the pantry and then this right here would be good for the pantry also it's a five piece pantry set and basically it's just like these right here in a set and it's only $25 so okay So it has one of these. It has one of these in the set. I'm gonna assess my pantry and take measurements and see, but this might actually work, so. All right, y'all, that is the end of my day. It's 4.17. I still didn't get everything done that I needed to get done. Spent a little bit too long in some places and not enough time in others. So <laughs> my time for the day is done because I'm tired and I don't really feel like doing anything else. But um, I'm gonna stop and get me something to eat 
and then I'm going to head home. It is 504. Wasn't able to get my flowers from Trader Joe's. Was literally walking in at 5 and he was the guy told me that they closed at 5. So I have to come back the weekend and get fresh flowers, which is, you know, no big deal. It is what it is. Y'all, tomorrow I am going to meet with my models. One of my models unfortunately had to drop out. Y'all know I'm going to be doing the TV show on Friday on the 5th. And I had three models. They asked for three looks and one of my models unfortunately um had something come up where she could not participate which is okay i'll just put her look on the dress form but my other two models i'm going tomorrow so they can try on their look so that i can get everything together make sure there are no minute no last minute surprises and then we're going to get ready for my second tv appearance on um friday but um ooh, there's gonna be a lot of mad people y'all people think trader joe's still open <laughs> Happy New Year to you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout this year and helping my channel grow. We're at 774 family members. It may not seem like a lot to some people, but for me, it's a lot to me and I cherish and appreciate every single one of you all. Thank you for loving on me. Thank you for inviting me into your home, your phone, your iPad, wherever you're watching me, but I really appreciate it. I love you guys. It does not go unnoticed. Good morning, Lux for Less family. Happy New Year. Today is Monday, January 1st. It is the first day of 2024. I hope you all brought in your New Year doing something that you love doing with somebody who you love doing it with. This was the first New Year's in as long as I can remember that I was asleep when the New Year came in. Y'all, I, I told y'all yesterday that I didn't really get any good sleep um, on Saturday night leading into Sunday and I just was very, very tired. And as a matter of fact, probably about 
by 9 30 when i got ready to take a bath i was so tired like i felt like i could not almost like i felt like i almost couldn't move that's how tired i was um anyway i'm headed now to the models that volunteered to assist me with my television appearance and um they're going to be trying on the clothes that i picked to style for them i'm so excited and i'm so um, number one appreciative to them because they took time out of their day they could be at work they could be doing stuff with anybody else but they agreed and volunteered to assist me and didn't hesitate when I asked so I'm very very appreciative of them because quite honestly with them asking for three looks I didn't know what I was going to do but you know it's great to have great friends in your life so um, that's where I'm headed to now Cool, but tonight I'm one. I'ma be in a dangerous mood. Can you match my time? Alex Velez family, I wanted to do a quick thrift haul with you and show you the things that I picked up that you saw earlier in this video. Y'all remember me telling y'all that I picked up Christian Dior, Valentino, and some other designer labels. I wanted to go ahead and show them to you today because they're going to be going to the cleaners today in preparation for me keeping um, a couple of the pieces with myself and then a few of the pieces will be... Um, sold to a consignment shop so let me show you what i got all right this day in the thrift store everything was on sale except red yellow and what was it yellow and blue were half off white and green were 75 percent off so just remember that when i'm showing you these items along with the tag that's attached all right the first item is this lafayette 148 women's blazer you all hear me talk about lafayette 148 all the time it is a luxury brand it is on the more contemporary side of luxury, but some of their pieces, quite a few of their pieces are pretty pricey up in the thousands. As a matter of fact, this blazer um, is a size eight. It was marked $12.99. Remember blue was half off, so I paid $6.50 for this blazer, but it is a very nice blazer. I am gonna be sticking this in the cleaners to um, consign to a local consignment shop here. You all have seen me consign things there before. If you're not familiar with the store I'm referring to, it's called Fifi's. It's a high-end consignment boutique here um, in Jacksonville, and they also have a location at the beaches. But this is gonna be going in the cleaner so that I can sell it to them um, probably sometime next week. But got this Lafayette 148 blazer for $6.50. From the thrift store all right next item is this christian dior men's blazer now this was marked 5.99 yellow again was half off so i paid three dollars for this christian dior blazer now this is an item that's going to be staying with me i love how it has like this tuxedo type of lapel here and um I can't say enough good things about this. I mean, $3 for Christian Dior in the thrift store. This is a vintage blazer. Um, yeah, I, there, there's nothing else I need to say about it, but got this for $3, this Christian Dior blazer. From the thrift store. All right, next is this Valentino men's blazer. This was marked $9.99. Red was not on sale, so I paid $10 for this Valentino blazer. This is like a tweed um, wool blend blazer. It's, it has a little bit of weight to it, so it's definitely only appropriate in the more cooler months. Y'all know I live in Florida. Today it happens to be about 40 degrees, but next week is going to be in the 70s. Y'all y'all know, y'all hear me say quite often that we don't really have a true winter. We just have some days that are cold in the winter season. Today's happened to be one of those days. But if I were going out, today would be a day that I could definitely rock this blazer. And how I'm thinking about styling this, um, I'm thinking about wearing a um, just a one-piece jumpsuit with this, with a turtleneck, or either a cream chunky sweater because this is oversized on me. 
and then maybe a pair of wide leg pants. I don't know. I can even wear this with a pair of sneakers if I style it correctly, but got this Valentino blazer for $10 from the thrift store. All right, the next item that I picked up, this is by a brand called Prabal Garong, and this is a very high-end luxury designer brand. Now, on the tag, it said that this is a production duplicate, which to me tells me that this is probably a sample. This probably was part of a collection that may or may, that may, or may not have made it into production. You know how they have the runway shows, New York Fashion Week. Side note, the showings that they show at New York Fashion Week are um, samples of what is to come. Some of those items make it into production. Some of them don't. That's why sometimes if you watch the shows, you don't ever see those items in the store because maybe the response wasn't well. For whatever reason, it didn't make it into production. But this is a production duplicate and I wish y'all could feel the quality on this. I paid $14.99 for it in the thrift store. And I love how it has this red lining and then it has this white contrasting lapel and then the sleeves right here when you fold them up they are also red i mean a lot of things about this is just quite stunning to me and then it ties right here in the front so if you want to open it it'll show that beautiful red this Prabal garong blazer um like i said i got it for 14.99 from the thrift store I can't wait to wear this. Y'all, I wish y'all could feel this. I really do because the quality on this is simply impeccable. But got this for $14.99 from the thrift store. All right, the next item I picked up is this Donna Karen blazer. It was marked $19.99. White was 75% off. So I believe this was like $5 if I'm not mistaken. But this is a size eight as well this is going in the cleaners today um this also will be consigned to fifi's this is a tweed blend jacket it does have faux pockets these pockets are not functional but it has a tie it's tied in the back right now but it ties all the way around the front but this is going to be consigned like i said to fifi's but got this for five dollars this donna karen blazer from the thrift store all right and next i picked up this armani jacket this is also a tweed jacket. This is a size eight as well. It was marked $34.99. White was half off, so it was like $8.50 or something like that. But it's a purple tweed blazer by the brand Armani Collezioni. And um, this is going in the cleaners to be dry clean so that I can consign it to Fifi's. But got this Armani women's blazer for eight dollars and change white was 75 percent off from the thrift store all right next i picked up this brooks brothers scarf now this was marked 5.99 white was i mean our red was not on sale so i paid full price this is a cashmere blend scarf and it almost puts you in the mind of the burberry um check but it's brooks brothers brooks brothers is a pretty high-end contemporary brand which i know i told y'all a few vlogs back i'm having a love affair with scars and this is no exception but got this brooks brothers cashmere blend scarf for 5.99 from the thrift store all right the last item i picked up from the thrift store was this ed hardy tie y'all i am getting into wearing ties i've always loved wearing men's neckties since before it was a trend I have always loved it, but I picked this up for myself. My husband, I'm fully expecting him to wear it. Um, this was marked $7.99. Yellow was half off, so I paid $4 for this Ed Hardy tie. And look at the fun print on that. Like, y'all remember Ed Hardy from back in the day? I know y'all do. I know you remember. Ed Hardy had everybody in a chokehold, as a YouTube girly say. But I love all the fun colors, the plaid print of this Ed Hardy tie, and then the you know, the fun, whimsical print on the bottom that's so classic Ed Hardy. But got this for $4, this Ed Hardy tie from the thrift store. All right, the next items that I wanna show you came from the City Thrift. I went on New Year's Day and they had 50% um, off the entire store. Y'all know City Thrift is a store that I don't frequent as much because they are a little pricey, in my opinion, for a thrift store. 
Um, so I don't visit there as much because pretty much in reality, sometimes the things that they have priced, I can go and get it from retail or Poshmark or something for you know a much less expensive price. But because they had 50% off this day, I took advantage of the sale. So let me show you what I got. All right, the first thing I got is a scarf. Now, this was marked $1.99. So remember, everything was 50% off. So I paid $1 for this scarf. And y'all, look at the fine prints in this. Just imagine this during like, you know, a tropical vacation, spring, summer months. You know, it's by a brand called Work. And it's just, the colors in it are just so beautiful to me. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot, lot of time explaining this because you can see just how beautiful it really is. But got this for $1 from the City Thrift. All right, the next thing I picked up is this Zara bomber jacket. Now y'all, I was so upset that this was not in my size, but I picked it up anyway because I'm gonna resell it on my Poshmark. This is also an item that's going in the cleaners. Now, what I like about this is that it's lace here and then it's mesh on the other side. And it's just a cropped bomber jacket. Y'all know cropped bomber jackets are all the rave right now. I think Zara has one that had the girlies going crazy, but um, like I said, it's from Zara. And it was marked $11.99. So I paid $6 for this Zara cropped lace and mesh bomber blazer. I really do wish this was in my side because I will, I will, I will wear the hell out of this. But got this for $6 from the City Thrift. All right, the next thing I picked up is this leopard dress. It's by a brand called Linda Aller Ellen Tracy. Ellen Tracy is a brand that you'll see quite often in the thrift store. This was marked $12.99. So I paid $6.50 for it. And it's just this long sleeved leopard dress. It's really, really, really nice, you all. It's probably about a midi length on me, uh, but it does not have any lining. I could definitely wear this as a cardigan if I wanted to, or I can wear it as a straight dress, but got this for $6.50 from the City Thrift. All right, the last item I picked up is this denim blazer. This is by a brand called Silhouettes. It was marked $6.99, so I paid $3.50 for it. And y'all, denim a denim blazer is not something I felt like I needed until I saw it. I'm like, I need that because I don't have any denim blazers here. I mean, I have a plethora of blazers, but I don't have a denim blazer. And you can never go wrong with denim. Denim is never going out of style. I know in 2023, denim had a huge resurgence, but denim... I don't care what it is, skinny leg, wide leg, straight leg, denim blazers, whatever it is, denim is never going out of style. But got this for $3.50, this denim blazer by the brand Silhouettes from the City Thrift. All right, y'all, well, those are all of the items that I picked up from the thrift store and the City Thrift. I do have to work today. I'm actually doing a half day today. Um, I need to prepare for my TV appearance on Friday, so I need to make sure I have all of my pieces in order so that tomorrow, when tomorrow comes, I'm not scrambling trying to find anything that I need. So I hope you all enjoyed this thrift haul. I am going to get into more styling my thrifted finds in 2024, so stay tuned. Good morning, Looks for Less family. Today is Friday, January 5th. It is 7.54 a.m. Today is the day of my second TV appearance on River City Live, so I'm up, you know, just to make sure I don't run into any unforeseen traffic issues that will prohibit me from getting there on time because we don't want that. I do have to make a quick stop at Walmart. Y'all, I was making changes. Y'all, gas is $3.17. Yesterday, I passed by the gas station. It was $2.96. Anyway, um, y'all, I was up making last minute changes to those outfits last night and this morning because I just kept thinking about different ways that I wanted to change some things about the looks that I had. You know, that's, that's what you always do. Even when you're getting ready to go out on a regular day, you think you know what you're going to wear and by the time you actually get dressed, is either something totally different or a variation of the original. So... 
But anyway, I'm happy with the looks. I have to make a quick stop at Walmart. But I want to just come in and say hello to you all. Like I said, I want to make a quick stop at Walmart and then I'll see you guys at the TV station. Reflecting off the mirror, I'm the bar Kind of a sexy bitch, I'm the bar Alien superstar Please do not be alarmed, remain calm Do not attempt to leave the dance floor The DJ booth is conducting a it's no joke that price of living is going up, 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 and that includes the price of fashion. But today, I have a fashionista who specializes in thrifted looks, and we're going to make sure that you can enjoy those in your closet and look just like a celeb. So, all right, to the River City runway we go. Good morning. Now, Kenesha Allen is here to break down some of her fabulous finds that have that celebrity designer look. So, Kenesha, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we are gonna kick it off with a look inspired by Karl Lagerfeld. Now, this late designer was always a fashion icon and he was always making real strides when it comes to super iconic look. Right. So tell us how you created this in a thrifted way. Okay, so this look is a recreation of the look that Karl Lagerfeld wore at the Chanel Tokyo Fashion Show. And the skirt is thrifted. It was $3. It is by the brand Kato. The tie is thrifted. It was $3. The shirt is also thrifted. It was $3. This jacket, which is by the brand MGR, it's our universe. It's a moto jacket, which you guys know is heavily Darn trending it. right now. Oh, yeah. It was $10. This whole look was recreated for a fraction of the price of what Carl Legofelt was wearing. And as you can see, she is rocking it. I love this. Now, in terms of the skirt, did you decide to tailor it? Because I think that's a great way where you yes, can I either did. have it long and go a little bit more black tie look, or I love how you've bustled it in the front. Yes. That's so unique. I've never seen that. That is a good thrift tip. Whenever you see items in the thrift store, don't focus on what the size is because you can always manipulate it to fit you. If it's mm. a wrap dress, you can tie it tighter. If it's pants, you can have them tailored. And what I did here, this skirt is actually about three sizes too big for her. I bustled it in the top and added a wow. fashion pin that I just purchased from Amazon. Oh, wow. So see, I love that. I wouldn't, I, usually I would have passed by something if I'm mm -hmm. looking at a rack and I'm saying, oh, this isn't mm -hmm. quite my size. But like you said, you can just tailor that to fit you. Now, the fact that you even got all of this, what was the total cost of this? Uh, the total cost of this was $21. I mean, literally, that's that's me going to Taco Bell, and we all know I love to do that. Okay, so our next look is inspired by Gabrielle Union, and here I'm coming over here. This this do 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 perfect. So you can you can model. Our accessory was betraying us here. All right, we want to make sure our models get the full look. Okay, so break down this look for us. Okay, so our next look, which is modeled by Selena, she is wearing, as you can see in the inspo picture, Gabrielle is wearing a trench coat by Stella, and she is wearing a top of pants by uh, the brand Hugo Boss. So what I did was I purchased this coat from the thrift store. This is by the brand Pendleton. Pendleton. This is about a $350 Pendleton coat. Pendleton job? The Pendleton wow. coat. I purchased it for $10. The shirt is a Ralph Lauren, and this is from the men's section. The pants are by Banana Republic, which is also by from the men's section, and the purse is Michael Kors, which is from my own closet. Now, the brooch also is thrifted. I purchased it for $3. It is diamond. Now, what I want to say is this look, even though she's wearing a men's look, women, you can totally pull, pull off clothes worn from the men's section. Don't be afraid. Women's clothes, uh, men's clothes, believe it or not, are tailored to fit women better, especially if you're a curvy girl like myself. And this look that Selena is wearing, total in cost was about $45. That is amazing. Now, can we pull up both of the pictures that we have of these celeb looks? Because I want everybody to get to see. Now, this is the Carl look again. So we have this that is completely thrifted for literally less than $25. And then let's see the Gabrielle Union outfit so that we can see that final look. I mean, I think you nailed both of these. So, Kanisha, before you go, just tell us how we can stay connected with you on your YouTube channel to get inspired for more thrifted looks. You can follow me on my YouTube channel at Lux Living for Less to follow all of my thrifted adventures. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Lux Living for underscore less. Amazing. All right, ladies, one last look for the camera while we go to break. And when we come back, we are going to be talking all things furry and fabulous. We'll be back.
All right, Lex for Less family, I am done with my television appearance. It's actually hours later after my tele uh, television appearance. My friends and I, well, actually my friends wanted to go to the thrift store. And of course, you know, I wasn't going to say no. So we went to the thrift store, spent a couple of hours in the thrift store. It was my best friend's um, very first time thrifting. And she was like a kid in the candy store. So <laughs> um, I spent some time in the thrift store with them. Y'all, the television appearance went so well. As I thought it would, my friends killed it. Like I said before, I am so appreciative that they came through for me. They volunteered. I asked one time and they did not hesitate to volunteer. And they came through and rocked both of those looks. Um, I was so proud of them, of how they just embraced it. They embraced the experience and just pull those help pull those looks together with their own personal style i mean from the styling how they did their hair it was just everything was really really good but um i'm proud of myself i'm taking risk on myself and i'm thankful that i have friends that believe in what it is i want to do so um can't go without saying that but now i'm here at whole foods i have not eaten all day it is 1 20 and um I want something to eat, but I wanted something fresh to eat. So I'm going to go in here to Whole Foods and hopefully they have like some Brussels sprouts and um, like some uh, baked chicken or something that I can get. I'm trying to, I'm trying y'all to eat healthier because I have got to get this weight off. I want to lose 25 pounds by the end of March. My birthday is in April. I want to be 25 pounds lighter by a month before my birthday. So I think I can do it if I stay consistent and watch what I eat, you know, incorporate some working out, but you know, they say 80% of you losing weight is strictly your diet. And I truly believe that, but let me go ahead and go ahead and hit a whole foods. I just want to come and check in with y'all and let you know how the television appearance went. Oh y'all, this cardigan right here, y'all have seen this. I showed you all this before I was going to wear this too. Um, dinner that time with my friend and we ended up not going but this is that cardigan this cardigan is so good y'all but anyway let me go ahead and get my food so i can come back and go home and eat so i'll check in with y'all later <music> As you can see, I have changed my clothes. I put on my glasses because I can't see y'all without my glasses a lot of times. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm, I'm in my last year of my 40s. I will be 49 in April. So I'm going to enjoy this last year of my 40s. Specs and all because thank God for another day. But that is going to be it for this week's vlog, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll insert a link of where you can watch my television appearance as well in case you're interested be sure to like comment share and subscribe follow me on instagram and tiktok at lux living for underscore less and i will see you guys and gals in the next video peace <music>